How's it going everyone? Today we have a package from Daily Puzzles, so really excited for this one. Thank you to Daily Puzzles for sending this out to me. Make sure you guys use code LHCUBA at checkout for 10% off if you want to buy some cubes from there. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, so we got three. And oh, okay, <clears throat> we have a mouse pad, which looks very cool. Let's open this up. Okay, so we have a YJ Yuchuang, I believe. That's pretty cool. We have a Yushin Little Magic M, so two magnetic 5x5s. Oh no, this is a 5x5. <coughs> this is a 4x4, so this is the Yusu, <coughs> I believe. Oh, so they're all magnetic. Okay, that's cool. All magnetic uh, cubes. Two 5x5s and a 4x4. Later, souls. Two YJ cubes, um, pretty much the same, just subsets of each other, I believe. And we have the usual Magic M, so that's pretty cool. So let's check these puzzles out. Okay, so we'll start off with the 4x4. So, looks like similar packaging to all the other YJ cubes. Comes with a pamphlet and cube wrapped up. So, YJ has made some incredible products recently, so let's see how this one turns. Okay, so it's a bit loopy on the outside. Just a bit. Let's give it some turns. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Uh, definitely needs to get broken in right now. You can definitely hear there's some lube in there that does need to get broken in. Is it magnetic? Yes, it is magnetic. Oh, okay. Well, it does turn very nicely. It definitely needs to get broken in. It's really smooth. And as you can hear, it's like really quiet as well, which is very, very nice. Let's do parody. Okay, so this cube is really nice. It's pretty smooth. Uh, turns very quietly, which is nice. Let's check the corner cutting. Oh, okay. Okay, so corner cuts very well. So up to about line to line, which is nice. Reverse cut. Okay, not so much, but that's expected for a 4x4. Very nice cube. It's super smooth. I'm definitely going to have to break this in. This is most likely going to be my backup main. It's really nice. Ultra smooth. Maybe about after 50 soles it should be ready to go. Okay, now I can definitely, after a bit of turning, there's a lot of lube on the outside. Hopefully that goes away after a while. So, this is a very nice cube. This is definitely a really good cube for average 4x4 solvers. It's very smooth and the controllability is pretty good as well. The tensions are decently good. I might uh, maybe loosen it? I'm not sure. I might just keep it as is. That's really good. But yeah, that's the Yusu. Now we'll go on to the other YJ product, the Yuchuang, which is their really nice 5x5, which I have tried before. Let's open this up. This is also magnetic. Alright, so same shades <clears throat> as the other one. Shades are really nice. Alright, let's go through. So a bit, a bit loopy again on the outside. Okay, yeah, that's very good. It it's pretty much the same as the Yusu. I find that the layers are a bit small. Yeah, it's because it's the same length as the other one. I don't know. Okay, already it's really loopy now on the outside. But just like the Yusu, it's really smooth and quiet. <clears throat> so yeah, this will need a lot of breaking in, but um, it's getting really loopy now on the outside. It's getting hard to turn. Check the corner cutting. Oh, okay, that's really good. Okay, the corner cutting on both YJ cubes seem to be really good. Mm, 
my one suggestion would be maybe for the layers to be bigger on the outside. Wow, it's it's really loopy. It's hard to turn. But yeah, overall, again, I'd recommend this to average 5x5 five five solvers as it's really nice. It's really loopy and may, it'll take a lot of breaking in, just like the Yusu. But yeah, that's the Yusu. And now finally, onto the Yushin Little Magic M. So this is the puzzle I've been waiting for, the magnetic 5x5, five five, which I have tried at comps. And it does appeal to me a lot, so hopefully it's really nice. So it comes with this nice pamphlet, which is really big. Alright, so these shades look pretty good as again. I like the red too, it's pretty bright. Yeah, the shades look pretty good. We got the Yushin logo. Let's give it some terms. Okay. It's not too bad right now. It does feel like a Yushin 5x5. It feels similar because I have one of them. The magnets are. They feel strong when I turn them, um, like regularly, like now, but while I'm doing hours, I can't really feel them. Oh, okay, there's a clicking noise. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a bit frustrating. Shouldn't be too much of a deal. It is a bit uncontrollable, so I might have to tighten it. But it also isn't fast. <clears throat> it's just like when you, it's a bit easy to overshoot. It's a bit complicated to explain. The cube isn't that smooth right now. Might have to add some drops of silk, maybe? I'm not sure. Might have to fasten it and smoothen it. Okay, already after turning for a bit, it's become a lot faster. I just hope to see that it becomes smoother. As right now, it's just, um, it's a bit rough. Let's check the corner cutting. Okay, not too bad. About line to line, yeah, line to line, I'd say. So yeah, not too bad. It's a pretty good puzzle. Again, average 5x5 five five solvers, this is pretty good. It's magnetic too. All these cubes are magnetic, which is fantastic at such low prices. It's good. So the Yushin Little Magic Amp. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. All three cubes are really good. The two YJ cubes are phenomenal. Um, bit looby on the outside, but they're really smooth as well, which I like. All three cubes can corner cut well. Uh, the Little Magic 5x5 isn't so good when it comes to smoothness. Um, so I'll probably add some loop to it and make it a bit faster. So yeah. All cubes are really great. They're all magnetic too, which is even better as it's really hard to make magnetic big cubes. So yeah, thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to Daily Puzzles for sending these out to me. You can use my code LHCube or check out and you get 10% off, which helps the channel out. So yeah, that's really good. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you all soon.